Hi, I'm John Tucker. Welcome to Lake Media's weekly wrap-up. Up first, we have Dan Field, our focus editor, who's going to talk to us about the Hollywood-like sign here at uh, Lake of the Ozarks that's going to be welcoming visitors. A little bit controversial. Dan, take it away. Yes, it's true. The infamous Highway Hollywood sign has been given a reprieve. It seems as though the Missouri Highway Commission has softened its initial approach when it required a license agreement between the state and someone other than the Lake Area Chamber of Commerce. Uh, initially, they were asking the uh, Lake Ozark Board of Aldermen to get involved and the Board of Aldermen declined for fear that they would be responsible for carrying the entire load of any kind of maintenance or liability. The Highway Commission was concerned about liability issues and maintenance issues so after some discussions between um, Project Chairman Joe Rager and the Highway Commission and the Lake Area Chamber, it appears that an agreement is um, pending soon. The next project will be to raise approximately $50,000 in funds through private donations and in-kind work. The uh, sign will be approximately 70 foot wide with 8 foot letters and donations are being accepted now by contacting Mr. Rager at 365-6999. And now for a look at weekend events at the Lake of the Ozarks, here is Sharice Batiris. Thanks, Dan. The Community Foundation of the Lake is holding their third annual Champagne Campaign on Saturday. It is held at a private residence in Lynn Creek. It is a social that they hold every year to raise money for the organization that channels funds through um, local not-for-profit organizations. Also on Saturday in Eldon in downtown, there's going to be the Turkey Festival. Most of the activities are happening between 9 and 5, but the day does start off with a 5k at 7. The parade starts at 10 and there are going to be art shows, food vendors, entertainment, and lots of live music and other things happening around downtown Elder. For more information on these events, go to thelakeonline.com. Thanks, Sharice. Up next, we have Rance Berger. Rance is going to talk to us today about the great rivalry, Camdenton and School of the Osage, this time, girls tennis. Rance, yeah, absolutely. Some great high school tennis uh, when Camden and Osage collided for the second time this year. Osage took a 5-4 win early in the season, but this time it was Camden by a 9-0 score. The Lady Lakers ripped off five consecutive dual wins and capped off that streak by beating Osage. Uh, they're getting some good play in singles right now. Their number one player, just a sophomore, Jane Hutchinson, has a very strong serve and a good forehand. And then they've got uh, some very good doubles players with Martha Taylor and Allison Sprinkle that are uh, taking care of things uh, through the middle part of the lineup. Great. Now, even though they did get kind of beat a little bit, this uh, this dual meet, Osage is doing having a pretty good season, though, still, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, when they're playing against schools their size, they're faring very well. Uh, Lady Indians expect to have some good postseason runs. Uh, their number one player is a senior, Kelsey Gordy, and then they've got a very strong number two doubles team in Elizabeth Bashore and Anastasia Blackshire that they're expecting some good things of down the road. Fantastic. Well, that about does it for uh, this weekly wrap-up. We're heading into fall. It's beautiful out there. Going to be in the 70s this weekend. Hope you have a good time out on the lake or around the lake, and uh, we'll see you next week.